Hi, one ticket for Alice Island, please. I'm Amelia. I work for Nightly Press. This one is my favorite. It is a book about the possibility of finding great love at any age. Don't you just love that? This is not for me. No problem. Mr. Fickry, why don't you tell me something about your lifestyle? I'm 39 years old. I live alone. I subsist on a diet of frozen entrees. I'm not what you'd call an alcoholic, but I like to drink until I pass out at least once a week. And since my wife died, I hate my work. I'll start with exercise. Okay. Who the hell are you? Maya. So the owner of the bookstore, I love her very much. I can no longer take care of her. Someone will have to watch Maya over the weekend. Well, it's only for the weekend. How hard can it be? Why didn't you leave her at the police station? It didn't seem right. You're not thinking of keeping it, are you? Uh huh. There's something kind of heroic about being a bookseller. There's also something heroic about adopting a child. Thank you, Amelia. My friends call me Amy. Summer list time. What is that book? Which book? On the table behind you. If you ever come down to Providence, I'll show you. This isn't like a date, is it? Uh, I'm teasing. You were so mean to me the first time we met. Yeah, I hope you've forgotten. I haven't. Sorry about that, because I like you enormously. Pretty much every bad thing in life is a result of bad timing. Every good thing is a result of good timing. I uh, just finished reading the book you recommended. This was spectacular. Maybe next time you will listen to me when I tell you something's the best. Well, sometimes books don't find us until the right time. No one travels without purpose. Those who are lost wish to be lost. In all these years, I've learned that it's better to have loved than lost, and it's better to be alone than to be with someone you don't really fancy. Sometimes, though, I get tired of learning lessons. I thought today would be more romantic. Oh, it's very romantic.